Now, what is a Boolean algebra? So, what do you mean by algebra? So, algebra is the way of representing the quantities with symbols, as well as the formulas are represented with the symbols, and some manipulations are, are done over those symbols. And Boolean is nothing but binary variables which can accept only zero and ones. Then, what is Boolean algebra? So, Boolean algebra is the way of representing the quantities with symbols and uh, quantities here are nothing but anything okay and uh, they are represented with symbols and some manipulations are done on those symbols right and these symbols can only hold two values that is either 0 or 1 so that is why it is called as a boolean algebra and it was introduced by george boole in the year 1854 and throughout this Boolean algebra, we'll come across some terms or terminology like literal product term and sum term. Literal product term and sum term. So, literal. What is the literal here? A variable or its complement. Just now we have seen uh, when we when we look at the previous slide here. In this, A and B are the literals. A complement is also a literal. So, here a literal is a variable or its complement. So, A, A complement, B, B complement, C, C complement and so on. All those are literals. Right? And then product term, literals connected by AND symbol. Okay? So, the output expression of an AND gate is F equals A and B, which is nothing but a product term. And sum term, literals connected by or symbol. The output expression of an OR gate is A or B. Okay, therefore it is a sum term. So these are the three terms uh, which we basically use throughout this Boolean algebra. Now these are the important properties of Boolean algebra. Uh, we might be using or we'll be using these properties for uh, simplifying the circuits as well as for realizing the circuits. So let X is a Boolean variable here and the 0 and 1 are the constants okay now the first property here is x plus 0 equals x it is called a zero axiom and x and 1 equals x which is it is called as a unit axiom and x or 1 equals to 1 it is called as unit property and x and 0 equals 0 it is called as zero property so we have to remember all these uh, properties for while realizing the circuits and uh, x or x equals to x it is called as idempotence law and x and x equals to x it is also called as a idempotence property or law and x or x complement equals to 1 it's a complement property and x and x complement equals 0 it's also a complement property and the last property here is x complement whole complement equals x it's called as involution okay now how to verify all these properties just substitute 0 and 1 in place of x let us take an example here that is x or 0 equals to x substitute 0 in place of x so we get 0 or 0 equals 0 okay now substitute 1 in place of x so 1 or 0 equals to 1. Therefore, the value that x is containing the same output that you are going to get. Okay, so in this way you can verify the properties that is Boolean properties. Now, one more property that we have to see or else the important property here is duality. So, what actually the duality property says? The dual of an expression is obtained by exchanging and and or and 1 and 0 in it provided that the precedence of the operator c is not changed so if you have a function so and then we can get the duality of that particular function by repre by replacing the and symbols with or symbols and zeros with ones and the vice versa and the condition here is the output of both the functions should be same as well as the precedence of the operators should not be changed Okay, and we cannot exchange x with x complement, right? Let us see an example. Find h of x comma y comma z, the dual of f of x comma y comma z, 
where the output expression is x complement y z complement plus x complement y complement z in between this boolean algebra if i use the term plus and dot it means they are they are replaced with and sorry or and and operators right so we have to get the dual function of this f of x comma y comma z and the dual function name is h of x comma y comma z okay so what we have to do is we have to replace these and symbols these and symbols in between x complement y and z complement as well as x complement y complement and z complement with odd symbols and this odd symbol is replaced with and symbol see h equals x complement or y com y or z complement and x complement or y complement or z okay and if both the functions are producing the same output then we can call these two functions as a dual functions now let us see some more boolean algebraic properties okay that is x or y equals y or x and x and y equals y and x which is called as commutative property and uh, x or in between the parentheses y or z equals x or y or z and x and in between the parentheses y and z equals x and y and z this is called as associative property and uh, x and y or z equals x and y or x and z and x or y and z equals x or y and x or x or z this is called as distributive property and one of the important property is the de morgan's property where x or y whole complement equals x complement and y complement and x and y whole complement equals x complement or y complement so this is called as a de morgan's property and all these properties are verified in the similar fashion the uh, we have seen for verifying the other properties like substituting zeros and ones in place of x and y variables okay for example if you take commutative law here you have two variables x and y so the possible combinations that you get is four combinations x is x is placed with zero y is placed with zero x is placed with one and y is placed with zero x is placed with zero y is placed with one and x and y both can be one so this is how we have to verify these properties and duality with respect to duality identities 1 and 1 to 8 have the following relationship just now we have seen some properties and the relationship between those properties with respect to the duality is shown here that is x or 0 equals to x x and 1 equals x both are dual functions why because here you can see this or operator is replaced with and operator and 0 is replaced with 1 and if you substitute zero in place of x then the output is zero if you substitute zero in place of x then the output is zero and if you substitute one in place of x here the output is one and if you substitute one in place of x here and the output is one so the both the functions are providing the same output uh, after replacing the operators therefore it is called as a dual function so in the same way we can verify all other dualities all the uh, uh, the duality of the other properties right and these are the uh, dual dual properties that you can see here okay now truth tables so here i am representing three functions that is f1 f2 and f3 okay which contains totally three variables okay and uh, that is represented with the help of a truth table these are the possible input combinations as i told you that how many input variables are there here totally three input variables therefore 2 power 3 is nothing but 8 so here every digital value starts with 0 and the number of combinations that you get here is 8 okay that is from 0 to 7 and their output expressions here you can see this right f1 and f2 and f3 are the three individual functions now what does a truth table says a unique representation of a boolean function so they are used for representing a boolean function if two functions have identical truth tables the functions are equivalent and vice versa so if both the functions are having 
the equivalent truth table or else the identical truth table then both the functions are equal okay however the size of the truth table grows exponentially with the number of variables involved hence unwidely this motivates the use of boolean algebra so as the number of input variables are increasing therefore the truth table size also increases okay so so in order to reduce this we use the boolean algebra boolean expressions not unique unlike truth tables expressions representing a boolean function are not unique so the truth tables might be unique but the expressions may differ so here you can see two functions okay and the corresponding truth tables of those functions are represented on the right hand side there you can see the output expressions or as the truth table for the function f and g are same but whereas the expressions are different okay anyhow as the expressions are different we should not say that both the functions are not identical okay so as the truth table is similar therefore we can call that the function f is equals the function g so algebraic manipulation boolean algebra is a useful tool for simplifying digital circuit as i as i told you that we use uh, boolean algebra just for simplifying the circuits as well as for realizing the circuits so why actually we do we do simplification so as we simplify the circuit then uh, then the cost of the circuit will be cheaper and the circuit size will be smaller as well as the circuit becomes faster so we'll we'll understand all these three terms uh, in our later later sessions okay but simplification is mainly used for reducing the circuit size as well as making it faster as well as as well as to get the cheaper to get the ic for cheaper okay so let us take an example simplify f equals x complement yz or x complement yz complement or xz okay so how do we simplify this particular expression so for simplifying these expression as i told you that for simplifying the expressions we will be using the algebraic properties that is boolean algebraic properties okay so let us see how to simplify that x complement yz or x complement yz complement or xz okay now in these two terms if you can see z and z complement okay we can take the common that is x complement y x complement y are common in both the terms therefore i can write it as x complement y in between the parentheses z or z complement or x z right now we have a property like x plus x complement equals 1 okay now here in place of x we have a variable that is z therefore z plus z z, z plus z complement is nothing but 1 and that is represented with 1 so x complement y plus x z okay now initially this expression is involved with three terms but now the expression is involved with two terms as the number of terms in the expression are reduced therefore the size of the circuit is reduced as well as it becomes faster okay now this particular expression is realized with the basic gates we'll see that later so this here will reduce the uh, equations or as the expressions a complement of a function so what is the complement of a function let us see the complement of a function is derived by interchanging and with or symbols and one with zero and complementing each variable so we have to replace the and operators with the or operators and vice versa as well as the constants ones with zeros and that so we have to find out g by complementing the function f so g equals f complement so how to get the complement just replace the and operators with the or operators as well as complement each and every variable let us see here so this is what the original expression and it is initially complemented it is initially complemented and uh, we are replacing this uh, and operator with or operator and this is called as a de morgan theorem and again the same thing by applying the de morgan theorem we are replacing uh, each and every variable with their complements as well as replacing and symbols with the or symbols okay so this is how we are going to find out the complement of a function 
just replace the AND operators with the OR operators as well as zeros with ones and then complement each and every variable. In the next session, we will deal with canonical and standard forms. Thank you.